Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I was going to do a vlog and then I decided against it and I started typing out this big long status um, about what I wanted to talk about and then I realized I just feel like it's important I need to just say it. Um, I've had a really rough weekend. Um, I found out on Friday that um, my grandfather passed away and it's kind of just, you know, taking me back quite a bit. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to do the vlog um, and just as a fair warning I will be super candid and I'm not edi editing the video um, so I probably will lose it here and there. Um, the reason why I wanted to do the video is just because I felt like it was important, um, for me to just remind you guys how precious life is and how quickly it can be taken away. Um, my grandpa was 82. And, um, you know, I haven't seen him since 2011, I believe, was the last time I saw him, uh, per my Facebook pictures. Um, and you just kind of think that everybody's just going to wake up tomorrow like they always do, and, uh, at a certain point they don't. Um... I'd been hearing from my aunt for a while that uh, my grandpa wasn't doing well and they needed to come make a visit and, and, and I knew I've been wanting to for a while and you know time didn't work out, money didn't work out, schedules didn't work out, whatever. They're all just excuses. Um, she had been telling me you know you need to you need to come see grandpa, you need to to talk to him something. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Uh, she let me know that he was on oxygen and he wasn't doing well and he was very short of breath. And, you know, my mom works in hospice. A lot of old people are on oxygen and short of breath. It's not, you know, it's not anything new. It's not anything, you know, you don't need to sign their death certificate at that moment. So I thought, it's okay, you know, he'll... He's my grandpa, he's been around, you know, 80 some years and he, you know, he'll, he'll continue to be there. And, um, on Tuesday, he posted on his Facebook, um, cause he was cool like that and had his own Facebook. He, um, he posted that he had COPD. And I knew at that point, okay, this is, this is pretty, this is pretty serious. Not that it wasn't before, but, you know, he's actually acknowledging it. And he said, you know, there's no cure, so, you know, wish me luck. He's just going to have to live with it. And, um, so I was like, I need, I need his phone number. I need, I need to talk to him. And I did, I got his phone number. I, uh, got the house number and everything. Two different ways, aside from Facebook, aside from, you know, social media to contact him. I had another way I could actually call him. And Tuesday night I was busy. Wednesday night I was busy. And Thursday, I just didn't think about it. I get a phone call from my mom on Friday that um, one of my aunts had posted a status that they needed prayers as he makes his way into heaven and I realized I had waited too long. It wasn't that I just had waited a couple days. I hadn't talked to him since 2011. I mean. 
it's 2015, that's four years, I had plenty of time to call him, email him, Facebook him, whatever, I had plenty ways to, um, to get a hold of him, and I didn't, and, uh, there's no excuse for that, and I know that, um, At 6.30 on Friday, he passed away. Before that, I was told he was in a coma on heavy drugs, on oxygen, and they were waiting for the family to get there so they could um, just let him pass. And, of course, I'm down here in Georgia, and he's back in Michigan, so I couldn't be there. So now, not only did I not call him while he was around, I couldn't even be there when he passed. And the reason I'm saying this is because we get so caught up in our own lives we get so wrapped up in doing this and doing that and and all the different activities we have scheduled for each day that we forget about the people that mean the most and i know that's my own fault and i'm just i'm gonna have to accept that I can't go back and tell him that I love him. I can't. And it would have taken, what, five, ten minutes on a Tuesday or a Wednesday? It's not like he could talk long anyway. I could have just said, Grandpa, I love you, and I hope you'd feel better. And that would have been it. That's all I would have had to say. And so, the reason for this super sad um, vlog post is just to remind you if there is somebody in your life that makes you sad when you think about losing them, don't wait until you can't tell them that you care. Call them up now, text them, email them, whatever it takes, and tell them that you care about them and that you love them. Because I learned the hard way that life is super short. <laughs> like I said, he posted on Tuesday that he had COPD and he was gone by Friday. A matter of days. I could have made time. I should have made time. And that's what I want for you guys, is to make time if... If there's somebody in your mind right now that you're thinking about how terrible it would be if you were to lose them and not be able to, to talk to them or see them ever again, if that makes you sad, then you need to message that person. You need to reach out to them and you need to let them know. Because to lose somebody is hard enough. But to know that you didn't take that one extra step that would have taken less than 10 minutes. That's even harder to live with. So I know I just brought everybody probably down to a really, really sad level. And I'm, I'm sorry, but... I just think that... It needed to be said. I know everyone says, oh, I know I need to I need to contact grandma or I need to contact my mother or my father or my uncle or, you know, maybe 
a sibling or a cousin is having a health condition or something. Don't just say you're going to contact them. Actually contact them. And let them know that you care about them. Because it's going to feel much, much worse when they're gone. And you didn't. Trust me. So, that's, um, that's what's been going on with me. Um, I will be headed to Michigan on Wednesday to be with family. Um, and I will make sure when I'm there that every single one of them knows that I love them. I won't make that mistake again. I can't make that mistake again. And I don't want you to make that mistake either. So again, if there's somebody that in your heart that makes you feel sad when you think about them being gone, message them. And if you don't, set a reminder on your phone to message them. Don't wait. You may get another three years, and that'd be great. You may only get three days. So, that's my vlog, and I'm sorry for bringing everybody down, but uh, I just think it was better to be said than to write it out and just have people skip over it. Um, I'll probably be offline for a while, but I will be back, so stay tuned.